Yeah, I was just having a bit of a tidy at my office earlier today and I came across, across this. Yes, it's another um, propeller clock. Very original. Yes, I, I made this a couple of years ago. It's based on the Arduino. Basically, I just got the Arduino stuck on top of a CPU fan. Um, uh, that's been supplied from external power supply. And I got the Arduino powered from a 9 volt battery. And I just thought, you know, I was just sat there and I thought, I wonder if it still works. So I've, I've actually designed in their um, DS1307 real time clock. Basically, what I've done, I've made a couple of shields. One uh, a shield that fits on top of the Arduino. I've got one shield which houses the uh, the uh, the real time clock, and the other shield on top is just the uh, the ladder, the um, strip of LEDs. I think I've got uh, eight LEDs there. Now I've actually uh, designed a few other things in with it at the same time. I've got an IR receiver in there as well, just so I can control it, so to speak. So, uh, and I've actually put a temperature sensor in there as well. LM35, so we've got our temperature, uh, we've got the time, and uh, I've actually got the date in there as well. It's quite a. Uh... There you go, there's a the date. I've always found these quite interesting, the uh, theory of operation of them as well, pretty, you know, it's uh, quite interesting. And it's getting that fine balance as well. Um, Obviously the CPU fan works quite well actually, you still get a bit of flash in there, you can probably see it on the uh, on on the camera at the moment, but in real life it's not too bad at all. And it's just, it's a fine balance from getting the right, you know, the, the right um, ramps uh, and revolutions per second. Because obviously if we have, we have, them, have it going too fast, so we have the strip of lights going too fast around there, and then that's, well, that's going to be a function of how quick you can actually spit the data out from the uh, from the Arduino. But as it is, I um, think I got it as fast as I got it going. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite good, I think, at the moment. Yeah, the coin cell that I've actually um, designed in there, I actually managed to pinch up from a, um, a timer clock that failed on me that I was installing a couple of years ago. So the, the coin cell was relatively new. And it, uh, the coin cell boasts that it should, you know, it should be good for ten years being used as a real-time clock. So, yeah, there you go. It's uh, quite interesting. I've actually got the schematics and uh, the artwork, whatnot, on the computer. What I'm hoping to do is, um, I've got a website going live shortly, LeicesterElectronics.co.uk, and I'm hoping to put put all these little projects on there so everyone else can have a little go and a little play and uh, that's what I think. So we, um, I'll slow it down and you can have a quick look at how I've actually designed it. Slow it down a bit. So you're, yeah really, so all I've got, I've got the Arduino at the bottom as the, uh, the 9 volt battery. And this is the, the shields that I've actually designed. I'll pull this one off here, the, um, the, the array, the LED array. And so you can see what we got there, see more what we got. Yeah, so you've got the, let's get a bit more light. Now, yeah, so as you can see the DS1307 just there, got the coin cell obviously. Um, got the uh, watch crystal, uh, got the IR receiver and the uh, LM35 temperature sensor and then it's basically just the um, the LED array yeah. I've actually got uh, a reed switch in there because you need you actually, it's a fair bit of timing goes on with these because if you, um, obviously what, when the um, so I've got a magnet uh, just serves uh, the magnet there. Once it, once it um, clips past the magnet, it activates the internal software to spit out the time. And obviously, if we didn't have that synchronization, the, the clock would be all jittery all the time. It just looked nasty and horrible. But yeah, there you go. It's a quite a neat little unit. But most of the magic's in the software. 
really, to be fair. The hardest part for me was actually um, programming it to, to do the things it's doing. The uh, actual hardware side of things, child's play, really. So, um, there you go. So, yeah, in the next couple of weeks, I'm hoping to get it on the website. Everyone else can have a play and maybe improve on it. Uh, there you go. Cheers.